Hello, my name is Shadley, and welcome back for another episode of Humankind. In previous episode, we were just mostly building up a lot of libraries and such, so we are kind of building tall right now, though we really need to start building up a lot of troops, I reckon, in order to fight the creeks here, which... They are still creeks. I'm pretty sure that they have not advanced into medieval era yet, either. Judging by the number of stars, no. So I think it's probably just me, the English, whoever the brown is, or number third, or third nation there, and maybe seventh? I'm not entirely sure about the seventh though. But at least we are broken quite nicely in here. Attitude changed. Creeks changed attitude. Persians changed attitude. English forgave Cravens. Okay, so what do the Persians? They are friendly. I could propose an alliance, but you're at war with the Creeks. You're at peace with those two. Let's have a look at the. It was the Greeks who. Speak. They are aggressive against me. Is there a reason for that? The reason for our demands? The air are Cravens against us. They want us to buy reason from us. We follow a different religion. We have allies in common. Okay. Well, we're gonna get another archer. All right, what did we just complete here? We did get the library, didn't we? So that increases our science output a decent bit. How much is it? It was 260. Oh, wow, 320 now. That is quite an improvement. And we got the make. Hold on, we started the mega scorers here, but we did build something else here. And our population is quite uh, large right now. We'll see about that. I mean, we could probably just recruit more troops or something like that. Maybe get a watchtower, although that wouldn't really reduce the number of people. The food production is having a bit of a problem with the overpopulation, to be fair. But that's honestly not too bad. We're going to get the garrison done in Ansung soon. Oh, right, yeah, we're building up there. So this is what I could do is I could get you in here, standing on the point already. That's going to be a while. That's going to be a while. We could build up the archer immediately, but I don't really think we need to. Just going to save the gold, I think. So we are getting the population... Oh, wow. Is the population actually be growing? Not in there. Not in there. So no, it's going to take two turns for the population to grow. Into 92... But that should be alright. Okay, so we're going to get the research done next turn, which is the feudalism, means more food. Which is actually going to be quite nice. And after that, we might take the siege taxes just to get some siege weapons. Because I have a feeling that that is going to be something that we need. Also, we did get the archer in here. We're going to get the quad room rather soon, so I should probably set up some more things to be produced here. I'm going to get a forge. That should be alright. The Megas Quarters is going to be done very soon. We could technically just build or buy that, so that means that we have one extra worker there. Now, the population is growing still rather quickly. I suppose I could just... Well, I can't recruit more troops because uh, spawn point is full. You know what? I'm just going to move this army over here to the... Administration center or whatever they're called and then we can build some more troops here i think we're gonna start with a, another swordsman maybe a spearman these troops aren't great to be fair but they'll have to do we've got 2900 influence let's have a look at the civics so we could get the slaves we would either go for the war slaves which means with population per round so combat strength and unit would be higher Oh, extra food, yeah. We might want to lean on this side. No, the extra food and industry on commons quarters isn't bad either. Not that we have any right now. So that would get us more stability on this issue. We don't really need more stability. I'm not going to go... Actually, let's have a look. What was the other one? Religious tolerance. Oh, we'll go with the open-minded. That may increase our sign well or influence a Until bit more. They start worshiping delivery services and bank accounts. Right, so we've got that underway. We are going to get the ship 
down here, aren't we? Uh, well, at least we can do a bit of exploration down here in the south. Not necessarily the particularly useful exploration, but exploration nonetheless. Era star unlocked. There we go. So we got the population done. Well, first on the population star, we're still missing a bit on the merchants. We're slowly working on that, though. Let's have a look at the text screen. So if I go with the siege tactic, that's going to allow us to get the ballista. War summons would alone. Oh, right, yeah, we do need to have that one if we want to go along here. Put that underway. Treat the route. Oh. Finalize the temporary hold that you purchase with copper from the Persians. Oh dear. Also gave a grievance, oppressing the faithful. Somebody gained population. That's good. Close that one. Right, so we've got a ship here. Let's just go around to explore a little bit. It took a while for us to get our first ship, I do admit. Next, oh wow, yeah, we got a massive range on these ships because of the uh, Lighthouse of Alexandria. That's probably something we should uh, lean into a bit heavier. Oh, there would be Discovery over there. Can we reach there is the next question that I have. I mean, around there, maybe. Oh man, they've been building a lot, haven't they? Interesting. Then we got this army over here, which let's we'll have a stay in roll right now. We are going to get that one done very soon, so we could probably queue up something else. We're at least lowering the amount of pops inside the city, but that's not going to lower the total population, of course. We could maybe get the theater for the extra influence because we are kind of s slowing down on the influence gain here, or rather, we get, need to gain a lot more to get those stars. So increasing that is going to be actually quite useful. Now, what else could we do? We could increase the f production in uh, Unsung over here. Now, whether that's going to be enough or not, I don't know exactly. We could get the fishery for the extra food. I mean, we don't need extra food in here, let's be honest. More money on main plaza would not be probably nice. Or a food market for the... Oh, we only got one of those. We could get a theater, of course. Or what else? We've only got one holy site, I believe, so we can't build another one. I wonder. Well, the custom swans would probably be quite useful in terms of money. On the other hand, maybe we'll just get the food market or admin tree. We'll get the food market, that's a fairly cheap one. In the farmers' quarters over here, we can just buy that. That's a little bit. Oh wow! Farmers' quarters. The people certainly have enough bread. Will five circuses be built next? Possibly. Right. So we got that in there. So we got a massive food increase there. I mean, that was what plus forty-four. Oh yeah, that is a massive increase in food there. That's okay, okay by me though. Uh, we're gonna get the artisan workshop in there. It's a bit expensive, but that's gonna increase the worker capacity there to five, which is going to increase the industry relatively quickly, not to mention the population is going to be growing quite high by then. We need a lot of money to build that unless we just let it go down a bit further. Over here we're going to get the forge done in very soon actually. We could get a bit more artisan workshops actually. That wouldn't necessarily be too bad. On the other hand, Let's get the stone works. We can get a bit more production from the mountains, at least, if nothing else. So that this place would then be quite massively good for a maker's quarters, because that's four mountains. That's an extra four there, and then there's already three in each. I'm pretty sure. So that would be a total of. I mean, we're technically already having these. That would be increasing by two. That'd be eight with that one. So it's actually not that massive, but it's still okay, I would say. Well, that's getting a little bit there. Ansing is getting this thing. Let's just quickly go through, make sure that I'm not missed anything. No, I think we've got a pretty good situation here. Oh, I didn't move the ship, did I? Oh wait, no, I didn't move the ship at the start of the turn. Persians are now Mongols. Ansing gave the Cravens. Finance has blocked the copper from Mongols. English forgave the grievance. So there's still this thing that could be claimed. 
Oh. Uh, the Huns have the Colossus of Rose. In other words, Mordred has that one. Not that I'm particularly surprised. Have they actually built it, or are they building it right now? I think they might be building it now somewhere. Now, to be fair, one thing that I haven't been doing is using my troops to clear out a forest, which would give me extra production. But at the same time, well, actually, in some places it might be useful for expert, especially for all the extra food. But at the same time, I do like having the production from the forest kind of indefinitely. Okay, we're going to get the food market next turn. We could get the... either the forge. And we are going to have to get some more room for population here soon. Enough. Well, I mean, the population growth is still quite massive, but it is going to have a bit of a limit at some point. So we've got the Baker's Quarters there. Uh, if we get something in here, that would still have a lot of uh, adjacencies. Or we could get something up there now. That would probably be a massively good place for our farmer's quarters, actually. Oh, do we have a science... Ooh, now that wouldn't be too bad. A bit less food and other things, but at the same time, that would be kind of in the center there. Or if we place it over here, actually, that's a good idea. Well, then we're going to get the harbor in there. Or we'll get something for the harbor for synergizing. Or on this side. Yeah, we'll build it there. It's a bit safer location, in my opinion. So the Arsenal Workshop is still waiting for things. I could just build out the forge, I suppose. I mean, it's almost done, to be fair. At the same time, no, I'm going to save the cash for the Arsenal Quarters in somebody, because somebody is a bit of a smaller city anyway, so it kind of needs some help. That should be alright. How is the... We haven't really built a lot of troops yet, have we? We've got two here. Oh, we've got something in... A watery grave. We could contract... Ah, the great coastal city of Spike sends fishing crews far up and down the surrounding coastline. Now, one of the new crews has made a stunning discovery. A wreckage of an ancient galley lying well preserved in shallow waters. After free scouting, an experienced diver offers to explore with their gang. And problem is a fixed bay of, for the Empire. They warn that the expedition isn't for the inexperienced one. Your choice. Um, that would move us a bit further... Oh, right, okay. Towards individualism. Fanatical would increase the faith for 25%. I like money, so I'm just going to contract. So actually, does that give us enough money to build this thing yet? No. Okay. Then we've got the navy over here. We could sail around a little bit. As long as we end in a... Coastal waters. Should be alright. We won't be risking any attrition there. Then we could technically sail around in the... Oh, there's something over there. I wonder... Hmm. That might be an interesting location. We should maybe set up another colony in there. We should be able to reach there, but I'm not entirely sure if that's just a tiny island there or something. That's kind of a potentially problematic situation. Creeks reached the classical and kept their traditions. Okay. Unsunkin population... Once forgave grievance, English forgave grievance. Right, so we can move around here. Ready, all? Grow. Just going to stick to the coastal waters here as much as possible. Now, this is... Uh, reefs cost a lot to move through. It's a movement cost of four. You can move it into reef, of course, but like moving through it costs a lot, basically. So we may want to sell around that. And then go around here and maybe there. But yeah, I do want to go and explore that one soon enough. Right, so Ansing is getting the resource quarters. Somebody is still working on the artisan, but we can get that one now. So we got industry of 59. It's not a lot to be fair, but it is something. Is there... It says that that might work or help a little bit. Whether it's actually going to be that useful. Uh, there's forest. Is that... That is rocky field, so technically mine plaza would, or the main plaza would actually benefit from that. Oh, but the lumber yard, that would also be a decent bit there. I'm going to build the lumber yard now for extra production. 
We got some room for extra population there at least, so that's good. And it's going to be mostly for the industry. Oh, so that's going to speed up the production there. Spike is already going to be 25 out of 25 next turn. We're not getting the stone works done, but we may need to get something that increases our... Well, actually, the Argent workshop would increase workers by 2, so we'll put that in. Although, actually, before that, let's go ahead and get another unit in. What do we have in this army? We don't have a swordsman there yet. So we could get this thing here. Reorganize that a little bit. So Rommel is going to get the theater done very soon. Um, it's running a bit of a problem in terms of um, population there. It's growing so quickly. Now we could always get a... Oh, we already got five merchants in there, or traders in there. We could get more. What's there? We got a maker's quarters over there, didn't we? Yeah, we did. That would be really good for farmer's quarters. Although, actually, not as good as this one. But we don't necessarily need another farmer's quarter. Well, it wouldn't necessarily hurt. To make sure that we got the extra growth available there. And then that means that we can start pumping out units one after another. And still have the population very high. Plus, since we got the library in here, that's going to increase the science output anyway. Speaking of science, we're going to get the siege tactics done. Kels have kept to classical era traditions. Let's have a look over here. So the war summons would allow us to get crossbowmen and pikemen. That would be quite nice. We could get more science from the resources with theology. Military architecture would allow us to get better siege weapons and forge. Absorb city. Oh, right. Chivalry would allow us to get the Meharists, which are cavalry and anti cavalry. Interesting. Seafaring mastery. Cogs would be good for exploring. Boarding vessel. Skilled navigation. Less damage from consecutive turns spent in deep water. Good for go for that one and start exploring the Z zones a little bit more. Actually, that's not a terrible idea. On the other hand, if we take theology first for the war summons, we could get a bit better units and then go for the seafaring master. At the same time, the sooner we get the cox, yeah, we're going to take that. That's also going to get the great fish market, which means a lot more money for trade route or naval trade route. That is. Creeks now feel different about us. Someone else is a merchant. Hans forgave grievance. Culture chosen Celts. Get their tradition. Spike gain of population. Okay, that's a lot of things. Let's get around here. So we can get there. We also supply. Oh! There's potential discovery there. It might be gold or it might be something else. Unsung, okay, that would cost almost 900. We don't have money for that one either yet. We could get the swordsman, but I don't think I'm going to spend the money on that one. We could get the theatre. Um, do I want to spend money on that? I mean, it's basically going to be completed anyway, so paying for the nine points, oh yeah, that would really not be worthwhile. Um, yeah, okay, so we're just going to save the cash. We've got a decent bit of influence. Um, are we going to be almost caught under the Merchant Star? Um, oh, we dropped to number six on the uh, fame list here. That's not great. Oh, the English are no longer the number one, interestingly enough. Uh, are we going to get the builder? We just need one more district, don't we? Which we're not far off from getting, are we? I mean, Romo is going to be built one at least. So there is that. Yeah, well, let's have a look. Spike gains some population. Merchants are unlocked. Excellent. Close to defeat. The population war support in the war against the English is 20... I'm at war with them? What? Friend. No. So pleasing to see you again. But our war support is really small. Oh, the equilibrium has dropped so low with us. I'm not entirely sure why exactly. Interesting, nonetheless. Okay, so you're offering something. Ah, it is a pleasure indeed to see you. So what did they offer? Uh, 
Oh, right, they probably forgave another grievance or something. Right, well, let's move the ship in here. Yeah, we've got 140 gold from that. Now we've got a fair bit of movement. What I can do, I can sail here. If we don't end another turn in uh, open waters, and uh, instead end in the coastal waters, we're not going to take attrition. So this ship should be alright. And then I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch that to the ship production place for this. Now, as soon as we unlock the cogs, we're going to build one, and then we're going to start heading out to the west. So we're going to do some naval exploration. Oh, right, we need copper for the charcoal kiln. Oh, dear. We don't have any copper, do we? Is there anything that we could buy? Well, we, they don't want to sell us. Uh, what about... You probably don't have any copper, do you? And since there's uh, violence in Mongolia, they are not going to be able to give that copper to us. Wait, who owns that? Oh, have they been capturing the things a little bit here? They might have. Which is why they control that. Interesting. Well, we're almost going to get that. I suppose I could just pay that. That's going to give us a builder star. A bit more points there, and then we can have another... Well, actually, no. That just gave, got us back to the numbers there. Okay. How about we get another unit, then? Uh, what do we have here? We got... Let's get an archer into the group. And then maybe, maybe we'll get another... Swordsman, just in case. That's going to lower our income a little bit, but I'm not too worried about it. Uh, we could, of course, get a main plaza or maybe customs farm. Don't think we need to increase the food production there. We just increased the food production quite massively, to be fair. Um, industry is almost 160 there as well. Do we have a... I don't think we have a... Well, we could get the watchtower, I suppose. Once we get a something in here, for example, a fort over there somewhere, maybe in there actually. That's going to allow us to keep a pretty good eye on here, even if we're starting to have a fight. And we could start recruiting in there if need be. Let's see, we're going to get the research quarters done basically this turn. So we should queue up something else in there already. The population is still growing at a massive speed. Um, I'm going to get the theater in there. A bit of extra influence doesn't hurt. The lumber yard is going to be completed now for the next turn. We could get something in here again. School would increase the science output on the research quarters. Or library for the... Po oh yeah, library is not a bad idea. On the other hand, we are going to run into a problem with the kind of room for population right now. We could, of course, just recruit a unit here. Yeah, if we recruit a archer, for example. It's going to take a little while, but that should be all right. And then maybe we'll start building a library or something. Artisan Workshop is going to be done in three turns. In Spy, but after that, we do need to get something. I mean, the school... We do have one research quarter so far. We'll always get the theater or maybe the city watch. I mean, the city watch doesn't seem to be that useful for us. Since we don't have the copper, we can't get the barracks, unfortunately. Food market would be extra money from the market quarters. Is that... But that's luxury markets and that's market quarters. That would actually be quite a bit of extra money there. So I'm going to put that into the queue. And then we've got all the things queued up there. Right, well, let's get to the next turn. Got 2,000 influence. That's probably not enough to get the edicts yet. So there is indeed a continent in here. Or at least some sort of island. Whether it's an actual continent or not, we don't know yet. Let's do some exploration. I mean, if there's no one here, then we might want to get a city or two in there. Just for the heck of it. Olmex reached the medieval era with the Norsemen. Oh. Well, let's have a look at what's in here. Oh, there is a discovery in there. And there, okay, that's something that we can get with the ship at least. But yeah, there seems to be an island over here. I'm not entirely sure if this is a really useful location for a city. But it might be alright. Right, so we're going to get a theatre in there. Uh, we're running a bit of problem with the food production there. Or rather, the excess food production. We could, of course, recruit more troops. Uh, you know what? We'll get another swordsman, maybe. Or an archer or something. 
Or actually, let's get the fishmonger more money from the harbour. Although we just got that, didn't we? If we were to get a... We got a luxury market already. That seems like it would be the better option. Oh, that is what it wants to build. Or that one. But now I think what we're going to do is... Hmm. Just a regular market quarters over there, maybe. I guess quarters over there would be 25 extra. Oh, wow. That would be quite substantial. We did get the garrison over there built. So we could actually start building up troops there. Get an archer in there. And then after that, we should probably get a... We could get a stone walls. We'd increase the fortification over there. Or... There'd be some sort of productions in here that we'd get easily. And the school would be good for that. Customs farm is also quite nice. That would probably give us a pretty good income. But now I think I would go with the fishmonger. And just quickly go through. So that's building, that's got things underway. Watchtower in Rommel, so we can definitely get something else in here. Already queued up. And we already got a lot of troops in here, so we should probably start kind of gathering up our troops into potential attack on the Kriegs. Because the Kriegs got a lot of troops in there. There's also some sort of army in here. There's probably mercenaries that they bought. I would assume. Let's see. So we could always get the stone walls, I suppose, in Rommel. I mean... Or... Um, we can't get the garrison too far in. I mean, we could technically get it in there. Or there, but that, I don't know if that's... Oh, right, if we were to conquer that... Oh, and the Persians or Mongolians are attacking there now. Interesting, but they might have some Greeks down here, which are potentially an issue. Get some influence from the commons quarters. I mean, that wouldn't necessarily be too bad. Speaking of influence, is there anything else that we could build? Oh, the main plaza money would also be quite nice. Or the customs farm... Don't need the food. That much we've uh, come to accept at this point. Um, I wonder. Make his quarters over here would be okay. We got 160 production though. Maybe another science quarter actually. So is that well? I mean, extra five signs would be okay. I suppose that would lower the food production quite a bit and production production. That would be 26 over there. Oh, wow. Or 23 over there. There would be synergy between those two. That's actually not a bad idea. Yeah, we'll build that one. Anyway, we are out of time for this episode. So, if you enjoyed this, please like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Also, check out the links down below in the description. But other than that, thank you very much for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.